God's peace and blessing to you, my friends in Christ. Welcome into a Thursday edition of our devotion time. And I pray that you are growing rich, that the Word of God continues to take root and grow up. And, and those are the two aspects that, uh, that happen to us as the Word of God makes us alive, plants that faith in us, and enables us to grow as followers of Jesus. Today I've entitled our devotion, Mustard Seed Faith. And that comes from a parable that Jesus also taught in Matthew 13. So this past, Sunday, uh, past Tuesday, our devotion from Matthew 13. And once again, I invite you to listen to Jesus speaking in Matthew 13, verses 31 and 32. He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. I, uh, I thank God for the ministry of the Lutheran Women's Missionary League. For over 80 years, these ladies, through the decades, have partnered with gospel proclamation, kingdom building around the world, literally. One of the things that they were early on known for was a little packet of devotions, little strips of paper that could be bookmarks or, or devotional pieces that could be sent as a packet or given away one at a time, and it was called the mustard seed. Just little de devotional snippets of scripture and teaching and devotion and encouragement in the faith. And so f for some of you probably hearing this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's for all of us to hear today, as Jesus continues to plant his word in us, that it may take root. But Jesus says in this parable, oh, by the way, parable, an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. That's what uh, Christ, the master teacher, engages so often when he's encouraging us to learn more about the depth of God's love, the height of his grace, the blessing of life and salvation given to us in Jesus. Anyway, so Jesus talks about that, something that is planted in us that takes good, strong root. And when it does and as it does, it grows. And... And so what's going on inside is absolutely important, God-given faith that as it grows inside of us necessarily comes out. It's seen. It's shared. Others get the benefit of it. So quite simply, quite literally, the mustard seed, tiny little seed that it is, uh, can grow up so that creatures can have shade and sustenance and habitat in its strength. Wow, that'll preach for us too, won't it? There's that heavenly meaning that Christ is getting at, that when the Word of God is planted in us, we take refuge in that. And others do too. Others are given the blessing of God's presence growing in our lives by us sharing with them His love, His grace, His invitation to grow in Him and in his word. And so God's rich blessings to you as you continue to grow. And then as that faith in you continues to show. Once again, from the close of service section of our hymnal, here is number 923. Almighty Father, bless the word, which through your grace we now have heard. O oh, may the precious seed take root, spring up and bear abundant fruit. We praise you for the means of grace, as homeward now our steps we trace. Grant, Lord, that we who worshiped here may all at last in heaven appear. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I pray that the Lord will bless you and empower you, enable you to come into his presence and in his house, to have that seed watered, fed, nourished, that it may continue to grow in faith and in following 
and in encouraging others as well. I invite you to pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that is planted in us. Continue to make it grow by your word and to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I look forward to seeing you in church. I look forward to being with you again in devotion time next week, Lord willing.